Hi guys, welcome back to my second video of uh, my candle romance. Yes guys, uh, I forgot to tell you guys that it's gonna take you like a while to get used to my accent. Uh, sometimes I speak too fast and that's been my, my problem ever since I was a little kid. So guys, I just wanted to tell you, I went on, did a Google search on that, um, on that soy wax that I got from Amazon and let me just put my glasses on. As a matter of fact, let me just go get my reading glasses. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my glasses in here now. So like I, like I was telling you guys, I was looking at, um, I did a Google search on CW6 and nothing really came up. And then I, I went to the website, uh, hearts, heartscraft.com. And that's where I'm just, I found all the, uh, all the information regarding this, this product. So this is it, so I printed it out for you guys. I'm gonna link it below on the description box. Natural soy wax candle making kit, uh, 10 pounds. And yeah, it says me includes 10 pounds of natural soy wax flakes, 100 pre-cut candle wicks, and two centering devices. Um, it says about regarding the wax, it doesn't say what kind of wax, it only says 100% natural, ethically sourced soy wax, good. Uh, superb hot throw for balanced fragrance and easy to prep with a 120, 120 degree melting point. I mean, I have no complaints with the wax. I really, I think it's very good quality, but I would like to know what kind of wax it is. I mean, don't we all? Um, because so far, what I've been, what I've been seeing, what I've been seeing on on the YouTube channels, uh, is people uh, depending on the kind of wax that's. Uh, the, the information that it tells you uh, when to put in uh, your fragrance oils. So anyway, so I went, I went and did some reading on, on this on this website. And uh, let's see, Hearts and Craft Natural Natural Soy Wax Kit contains everything you need to to get started making candles. Uh, the set comes with uh, 10 pounds of our best-selling top-rated natural soy wax. Uh, it says not only does it provide a superior hot throw to, to other waxes, our wax is 100% natural and free of the chemicals found in traditional paraffin waxes. Uh, this easy to use proprietary blend has a melting point of 120 degrees and blends effortlessly with our dyes and fragrances. Also included are 100 pre-cut candle wicks and two centering devices in order to make your next project as seamless as possible. Um, it says we provide the tools, we provide the creativity. Okay, well, you know what? It's, I mean, I appreciate that telling me all this, but it's the important information that uh, we really need is the kind of wax it is. I mean, natural soy wax candle um, blend. I mean, I don't know what kind of blend it is, and I need to know the size of this wick. So, anyway, so I'll, I'll, I'll guess you know what? It's I have to compare the thickness with other wicks that I have. But again, you know, it's, it's very hard to tell. It doesn't have any numbers in here or anything to tell you. I don't see any numbers, so I'm just going to experiment. Again, you know what, guys? I'm baby steps with me, baby steps. So today I'm also, I'm, I'm also, uh, when I do something that I saw when I'll be, uh, let me just go upstairs and get the piece of paper that I have. I'll be right back. I was reading yesterday through the Facebook uh, group. And uh, so one of the members, she posted this uh, technique that she was, was doing uh, a test on, on her candles. And she, uh, she was playing with, uh, experimenting with 464. And finally, she was gracious enough to share with us her, uh, the results from her test. And um, I'm not gonna mention her name, I just wanna see. Uh, 464 has given me a run for my money. Uh, literally so much money in testing. I think I, fa I finally got it. Say, thank you so much. You know, uh, it's, it really uh, means so much when somebody wants to share the results of, of testing after uh, spending all this money. And yeah, and that's, you know, it's, it's so good to share people, uh, you know, with all of us because we are like uh, uh, in the same boat, just learning as we go. So um, uh, she doesn't say the amount that she used he said, add half a teaspoon coconut oil immediately. When it goes to 185, just add half a teaspoon of coconut oil. So I'm gonna, so I went to the supermarket and I bought this 
we're gonna also we're gonna do this together guys yes and she said add fragrance oil at 170 degrees and then slowly pour at 150 to 160. So let's do this together guys and let's see how this comes out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna heat uh, the wax to 185. I'm gonna put one batch with coconut oil and the other one, and the other half, I'm not gonna put any, anything. So let's see how that goes. So let me just get everything set up and I'll come. Okay, so I just plugged that in, uh, my heat, my heat plate, induction heat plate. And let's go and get the, figure out which, and everything I do guys, I always write it down, you know, to make sure that I have everything uh, documented. Uh, let me see what I'm gonna put you guys so you can see better. Let me just bring the, uh, the rolling cart over. So what I have is a tripod. I'm holding it with my hands in here. And I have like a, this rolling cart, you see? So I put a, uh, the tripod in there so we can just, I can take you anywhere with me in the, in the room. As you saw on my, on my first video, uh, the space I have is very limited. Okay, so I'm not gonna be using this, this pot because it's too big. So I'm just gonna put it away. So what I'm gonna be using, guys, is I'm gonna be using, uh, let's see, what kind of uh, container should I use? I'm gonna use two of these again, because these are very easy to, to work with, you know? Uh, these are uh, three and a half ounces each. I don't know, what do you guys do with the tops? I'm just keeping them on the side in case but I know I know I'm not gonna use them okay so this is for my other project that I did so let me just put them okay guys so I was doing some calculations I use an app it's called a uh, candle maker I'm gonna link it below I think it's a game changer because it gives you exactly the amount of wax and the, and the amount of uh, uh, fragrance oil that you're gonna need in any kind of size you want it's so easy to it's so easy to use guys I think it's it's worth uh, everyone getting it. I mean, why try to figure it out with the calculator? You know, I'm very bad. I am very bad with math. I'm telling you the worst. So, what this came to be? Is I'm gonna make one with uh, coconut milk. I mean, coconut uh, oil, and the other one without it, and see, compare them, uh, how they look. And also, because this is gonna be like a test, I'm just gonna be using a plain organic lavender fragrance oil. I'm gonna use this one here. Uh, so my calculations call for 5.6 ounces of wax and 0 0.7 uh, ounces of uh, fragrance oil that's gonna give it like a 10 percent okay so let me just measure the um, the wax because i'm doing two different tests i'm gonna uh that's the advantage of being a hairdresser you have a lot of uh, foils okay so let me just wait i can take the, the weight off from the wax so i'm just gonna use half of this So let's see how much this measures. I'm just gonna use my, let's see if I have anything else. I'm gonna use this. Uh, it's 0 0.1, so hardly anything. So let me just ounce. So I'm just gonna take off the uh, 0 0.1 from the, from the wax. So zero, my, my, so one of the container is gonna be 2.7. Okay, so let's start measuring the wax. This is the coconut oil. I'm gonna make this one the 2.7, which is the one that's gonna have the coconut oil. So let me just put this aside. And then let me the, put the other container. Again, I need 2.7, I mean 2.8 for this one. You know what guys, I'm gonna make them both 2.7. Okay, so let me just, so that way everything is the same. Uh, I need to measure now 0.35 of the fragrance oil. And again, I need to do two different containers. And I have my eyedropper that I always clean after I use, and I only use one eyedropper per fragrance oil, so, so I don't contaminate uh, the oils. Uh, 0.35, clean them as I go, but again, what I do is I put them in, in, in a bowl of Dawn, a Dawn dish liquid with warm water, and I uh, 
pump uh, the slope in, inside the, the dropper itself and leave it uh, just hanging there for 10, 15 minutes. Make sure that all the oil uh, comes out of it. I mean, all you could also get uh, disposable eye droppers, but I, you know what guys, I, I'm thinking about the earth. Um, you know, the, the more plastic you use, the more, the more uh, trash you're putting out there. So, I mean, think about it too. No, they don't fit. So I'm just gonna keep this one on the side. While this one gets done, I have my thermometer in here, guys. Let me measure the water temperature. It's 87 degrees and the wax temperature is 69. So it's gonna take a while. Once I become faster with this and once I start getting like a bigger orders, I'll do this in my kitchen. I'll take you to the kitchen in the future so you can see the, uh, uh, there's a lot of space in there for me to work. Um, the only thing that's keeping me out of there is uh, I have uh, five pets. And they are, as you know, uh, they could be very curious. So I'm gonna use this. I love this. To keep the uh, twigs straight. And I like to pour my candles in here. And I like to put a piece of... And this is me being extra careful, but this is what I like to do. I like to put in here, this tray here, aluminum tray and then I put my candles in here again because I don't have a big table here and I just want to put this like this and I'm just gonna take this outside so you see guys nothing gets hot in here not even the not even the pot gets hot I mean this is great this is a great setup okay so I'm gonna take the, the first test and this one is with no coconut oil so I'm just gonna put a piece of tape so I know what it is. And once I'm done with all these tests, guys, I'm gonna show you what I do to, to get rid of the candle. I mean, the, to get rid of the wax. I could just throw this away, but I feel bad about, you know, again, it's more waste. Okay, so this is candle number one with no oil, with no coconut oil. And this is gonna be candle number two. After I finish doing this, this test, I'm gonna send her a question and, and to ask her what kind of fragrance uh, she used uh, on her candles because that also takes, uh, you have to take that into consideration. All right, so having here the two tests, coconut oil, non-coconut oil. Yes. This is great for a uh, thumbnail. Guys, send me some ideas. Leave it in the, in the comments in the comments below what kind of videos you want me to make for you guys. I'm waiting for a shipment of fragrances from Candle Science. Uh, they should be coming this week. And I'm gonna start ex experimenting with different, uh, okay, it's 178. I wanna start experimenting with different candle scents. Uh, that's why I haven't done any scents test yet because I wanna get them all. I wanna put them all on this table here. And I wanna uh, test them, you know? I wanna smell them. Okay, so she says, let me read the instructions again because I, I want to do it right. Heat to 185, so it's not ready yet. And then add the fragrance oil. No, heat to 185 and then add the coconut. The coconut. Coconut oil. She didn't specify if she got, uh, I got organic. Okay, it's 182. Okay, it's 186, so it's too hot now. So let me just take it out. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna add the oil. Where's the oil? Let me just go get, get the oil. In the meantime, I'll put the other one to, to start warming up in here. Let me go get the oils. So this is the 0.3 ounces. She says to add a 170.
Okay, I need to add the coconut oil first. So this is what I have in here. It melted right away. It melted right away and let's see how the temperature is now. She said to add the, temp uh, the fragrance at 170. Okay, perfect. This is the fragrance in here. Excellent, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna stir, and she said to pour at one between 150 and 160. So I need to move, stir this for at least two minutes, and that's going really well. This one here, perfect amount. You see, beautiful. Now I'm ready for the other one. Let's see how much, how hot this is. It's not completely melted yet, so I have to wait. The smaller the amount of wax, guys, the, the okay, this is 175, it's almost ready to go. Because I'm not using uh, coconut oil on this one. Perfect, 186. Take it out. And I have to wait until 170 in order to add the fragrance oils. Let me take this out of here. This is what I love about making candles, guys. It's like a, it's a very time sensitive, you know, and temperature sensitive. It's not like, you know, you have to really think. 178. You see, and the stove just turned off. Beautiful. And nothing is hot. It's 173, I think. I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes. I mean, 30 seconds and see because we are, we are also in, in this room is very cold. So, okay, 172, I'm just gonna add it now. Where is the scent? It's close enough, this, this room is very cold, uh, very cold in here. So I'm just gonna, and once you add the fragrance, it's also gonna cool it down. Being that this is such a small amount of wax, um, you have to work quickly. Oh my God, guys, this is the perfect amount of wax. Excellent. So this is it. Okay, and you know what, guys? I, I want to ask you something. I saw I, I saw a few people put, like to put the, um, like a, on a cooling rack. Um, I think I'm going to get one too to see why, no, why not. Uh, what, what difference does it make? I understand maybe because it gets the bottom cooler. Uh, it's uh, the, for uh, air circulation. Do I have anything like that in here? Let me see. Uh, I don't have anything like that. But I'm gonna go to a supermarket and I'm gonna get one, one of the small ones, uh, to put it inside here. And let's see how that works. So uh, let me just take it in, guys. So you can see the test candles. So this is the one with no oil. And this one is the one with coconut oil, you see? And it's starting to settle now. I can see, you know, you look at it from the top. You see, at the bottom it's starting to get settled. So yes, guys, this is the first test on my channel. I mean, I did a, 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 a few candles uh, that I did videos to, so maybe I'll, I'll, post, I'll post those, but it's not like I, I'm trying to just Put video after video after video after video. I just wanted you to see how I do it. You know, it's and you guys. That's also I want you guys to share uh, tips or tricks that you have, any uh, advice. And if you see anything that I did wrong while I was doing this test, I would love for you uh, to tell me. You know, uh, I'll take any 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 comments, negative or positive, because that's how people grow. Uh, yeah, guys. So I'm just gonna uh, wait for this to settle a little bit, and I'm gonna post a few pictures at the end of, of the video, so to, to see how this solidifies and to see how this, uh, the top of the candle looks.
Uh, of course, I'm not gonna be able to test uh, the fragrance because I had to wait for a couple of hours, I mean, a couple, a couple of weeks in order for them to cure. But I just wanna show you the look of the candle on top. And that's gonna be my first, this is gonna be my first uh, test in, uh, that I'm sharing with you guys, doing this together. Okay guys, I'm gonna bring you closer. So we're gonna take a look at the two. Uh, this is the test we're running today, yes! So this one has a coconut uh, oil and this one doesn't. So I'm just gonna bring them over to you closer. First, let me just look at the... I'm gonna look at them very closely before I show them to you. And uh, guys, uh, I think there's a huge difference. I think it's uh, the test, uh, it's a win-win. Uh, this is a, a test with coconut oil. Look, let me see the reflection of the light. This, and this is without any coconut, and this is no coconut oil. And look at the, uh, the reflection. So this is the one without it. And it's more bumpy, it's, it's rougher the texture. And this one is, oh my God, this is much smoother. And I only use a third of a teaspoon on this uh, on this amount of wax. So I'm telling you, I'm very impressed for using such a tiny amount of uh, coconut oil. Uh, it really gave me a smoother uh, surface. They smell the same to me. I don't smell any coconut in, in this one. So I think, it, no, I think it works. I'm just gonna say your first name. Thank you, Angela, for sharing your test results uh, because they also work for me. Uh, it's definitely, I noticed a huge difference. So this is the picture that you posted. And yeah, and this is the, uh, the results for my test. And this one, it's, I'm telling you, it makes a difference, guys. It's, it looks shinier. Let me show, I wish you could see it better. Let me see if I can, you closer to the light so you can see the reflection better. I don't know if you can see it with clarity uh, how, how shiny and how smooth it looks. Okay, and then this is the one without, uh, this is the one without any coconut oil. And I see a lot of the bumpiness. See, you see how bump, you see the bumps in there, the shadows in there? And this one, it's much more uh, softer. You see, look at the difference. You can really tell the difference, guys. This one is much softer. So I'm gonna be using this from now on on my soy wax. Thank you, Angela. It really works and it's gonna benefit all of us in here. So I don't know whether this will affect people that are uh, allergic to coconut. I had to do more research on that. But as far as getting a better look uh, for the top of the candles, uh, definitely the coconut oil really uh, helps a lot. So anyway, guys, I just wanna finish uh, the video here, guys. Okay, guys, so, so this is the end of the video. And I added this at the end of the, of the first video, so I just wanted to show you guys. So I'm very impressed. Uh, again, thank you, Angela, for your, uh, for your posting on the Facebook uh, page. It really makes a huge difference. So for now, for now on, I'm gonna be using coconut oil on my, all my soy candles. Yes! Okay, guys, so I'm ready for the shipment of uh, fragrance oils tomorrow. So when I get them all together, I'm just gonna uh, put them all in this table here and I'm just gonna go through them with you guys. And then, because I wanna start playing with the different combinations of fragrance to get my perfect combination of, uh, for the perfect candle. Okay guys, so uh, if you have any comments, any questions, please leave them below on the comments, uh, on the comment section. And until the next video guys, ta-da, yeah.